Finally, Maya will talk about predicting faults in a water pump and its pipeline using tiny mill, which looks uh, quite an important topic given that uh, a lot of uh, uh, countries face sh water shortages. So this addresses quite a very important societal problem. So Maya, please go ahead. Yeah. So, uh, you know, in this lightning talk, uh, we are going to look at uh, how tiny mill can help uh, monitor in, in, in monitoring machines like water pumps, wind turbines, electric motors, etc. to predict faults developing in them. And, uh, you know, for this, what uh, we've done is we've created a small sensor and a test setup where we can generate faults repeatedly to demonstrate and validate uh, the reliability of the tiny mill model deployed on a sensor. So, uh, Obviously, you know, using TinyML to do so has lots of benefits over running the inferencing on the cloud. And uh, when we, uh, uh, you know, look look at uh, so some of the challenges, like you know, that, that we face with remotely located machines, that there is constraint in terms of power connectivity, and there are obvious benefits that we derive out of uh, deploying these two, uh, uh, you know, uh, tiny tiny sensors. So the solution uh, that we built was, uh, you know, we, we built a small sensor. Uh, the, the hardware consists, consists of a STM32 F411 ARM Cortex M4 microcontroller and an uh, LI, LIS 3DH uh, MEMS accelerometer. So that uh, a very basic uh, hardware for the sensor and for the test setup, uh, we used a centrifugal water pump along uh, with a, a water tank and an inlet and outlet. Out Outlet pipe. So what was important here was we connected a air valve uh, to the inlet pipe so that we could create uh, manually and repeatedly we could create uh, faults like air leak, dry run, etc. The model that we built uh, was a CNN combination neural network classifier with four classes uh, uh, to, to uh, classify from. One was uh, whether the pump is uh, running uh, normal or it has any fault like an air leak or a pump dry run or uh, whether it's power off. So uh, this uh, slide shows the data graphs like the acceleration waveform and the spectral data for normal and air leak and we can see how uh, the, the data varies in, in case of normal air leak or it will be you know more uh, turbulent in case of uh, a dry run. Uh, this is uh, the slide where we depicted the, the, some of the you know model performance parameters like the accuracy uh, that you could get in our lab was 96.8 percent, and the inferencing time that we achieved was uh, around one millisecond with a very low mem memory footprint of 1.5 k for the RAM and 15.6 k for the uh, uh, ROM or, or the program memory. So this is only uh, the, the memory consumed by the model, not by the rest of the uh, you, know, you know program. Then this, we, we built a small dashboard for visualization of uh, the data captured by the sensor. Although, uh, you know, the dashboard is obviously not mandatory. It's only there for demonstration purpose. What's important here is not the graphical data that you see on the dashboard, but uh, the inferencing data wherein we can see the pump condition as, as on or off, or whether it's normal, there's an air leak or a dry run. Uh, we have a small demo for this. Uh, I, I'll play the demo video and uh, voice over uh, to, to uh, you know cover this. So initially we can see that the pump is off and the pump condition displayed on the dashboard is also is off. Now we turn off uh, the pump and uh, we'll see that uh, once we turn the pump on, the, the pump condition changes from off to on. And we can see that the normal, it, it says, uh, the inferencing says it's normal with 98.438%. Now we change uh, or, or open the air valve slightly to uh, have some air leak into the uh, in inlet pipe of the pump, and and with that leak created, we can see that uh, you know the section air leak is 98.438 percent, and the it's predicting that there's a pump dry run which will which may occur soon. So uh, with this dry run being predicted, when we uh, you know. Then we move on to actually creating a dry run by uh, opening the valve further, and uh, we see that uh, you know we see that, that there's a dry run that's been created. And obviously, then we uh, you know uh, close the valve to bring it back to the normal state. And uh, uh, this is pretty much the demo and the setup that we had built to uh, validate you know how TinyML works for uh, vibration sensing on rotating machineries and how reliable it would be. So that's it, thank you. Any questions? Uh, 
Directly. Thank you, Mayank. Uh, indeed, quite an interesting demo. I'm pretty sure that uh, um, uh, that uh, this is quite an exciting topic. So uh, let me ask one question. Uh, um, I think there's a question in the general chat. Uh, I'm not sure if it's directed to you before I ask mine by you, Sinar. It's asking if you're using all the vibration axes in your CNN, but um, I'm going to assume it's if it's for you. Yeah, it's only the vibration data. We were three, we, we were capturing the okay. three axis uh, data, you know, x, y, z axis and using it to uh, classify. Okay. Uh, everybody, please use the Q&A. Yeah, thanks, uh, Maria. Everybody, please. I would like to acknowledge again uh, our sponsors. Uh, the sponsors are the ones that actually uh, made this, uh, made having a free registration for everybody possible, starting by Newton.ai, uh, who is innovating into the automa automated uh, tiny ML uh, domain, uh, who's also our, our um, uh, uh, premier sponsor. Next, we have the executive sponsors. Uh, we have ARM, which, as you know, builds from both the software and the hardware foundations for TinyML. Uh, we have Edge Impulse, who is uh, advocating strongly, as you all know, for uh, TinyML available to all of the developers. And of course, Qualcomm, uh, who is working as, you know, among other perception, reasoning and action and Edge uh, and cloud devices in various sectors, such as uh, the Internet of Things, automotive, and mobile applications, uh, and Sintiant, who is moving artificial intelligence from the cloud to the edge, which as you have seen today, uh, it's quite now the trend nowadays. Uh, next, we have our Platinum sponsors, uh, Infineon, part of your life, part of tomorrow. We have seen a few of their projects uh, that they work today. We have Reality AI, uh, who is working also in pre-building uh, in pre-built edge AI sensing modules and tools. Uh, next, we have our gold sponsors. Latent AI is the first one who works on adaptive AI for the intelligent edge. Then we have SenseML, which works on building smart IoT sensor devices uh, from uh, uh, various data. And last but not least, our silver sponsors, uh, Emza from Israel, Greenwaves, uh, HOTC, Majimop, Pixel, Seed, Studio, and of course, ST uh, Microelectronics. I would like to thank everybody that stuck around until now, and I hope to see everybody tomorrow at 4 o'clock Central European time.